Hello YouTube and welcome to a comic book review. So I'm um, starting off the new year. Uh, last year I, I did a few comic book reviews um, and I was trying to put them out every week but it didn't work out so great so I'm gonna give that a shot again for 2018 and see how that goes. So anyways without further ado today I am reviewing Rogue and Gambit number one. Um, this uh, well, I guess I'll get into the book and then share some notes and opinions and stuff like that. Uh, so either way, we we kind of start off with uh, some mutants in this uh, place, which I don't even know how to pronounce. I'm not that great of a reader, uh, you know, of words. I mean, I read a lot of comics and stuff, but um, uh, it's like uh, Paradiso or something. I, I don't know. Anyway, it's like uh, it's some kind of retreat for mutants. Uh, for couples, apparently, um, and they're getting their uh, powers taken away from them. They're like being kidnapped and getting their powers taken away. I believe that's what I read. Uh, either way, um, so that's our opening scene. Then we move to um, uh, Rogue is in a danger room simulation, whatever uh, training training in the danger room uh she's got pixie and armor and psylocke with her uh i think that's all i think it's just i think there was four of them in there her pixie psylocke, yeah um and gambit comes in starts speaking to uh storm who's running the the simulation for them and uh he wants in stuff like that uh so he breaks into the little training session there um and they, you know, from there we kind of go into some details about uh, Rogue and Gambit's, like, you know, a strained relationship and stuff like that. Um, so just to kind of jump forward, I mean, there's not a lot going on in this issue. It's pretty uh, face value. Like, there's only a, a few plot points, you know, that, that point to one larger thing. But, um... I'll just kind of skip around. Uh, from there, we um, we have Kitty Pride uh, coming to Rogue and, and telling her, "Hey, I need to send you on this mission. Uh, you know, here are the reasons why, and here's who I'm sending with you." And of course, it's Gambit is going along with her. She doesn't really like that idea, but uh, you're not gonna argue with the headmaster. Um, so she, of course, reluctantly agrees to go. Uh, Rogue and Gambit are on an airplane uh, traveling to this retreat um, and you know they have some back and forth in the plane uh, and then we get to them at the retreat um, and we see like a little bit of that world just a little taste of it there's not much uh, given there sorry there's a glare on this book I can't really get it off I keep trying um, but, um, you know, it's, it's just set up for, for the actual story. Uh, and then, you know, after that, it's basically just, you know, them kind of figuring out what, what they're going to do there and, and getting to this little uh, introductory session or whatever of, of their couple's retreat type of thing they're supposed to be doing. Um... Uh, Gambit kind of wants to play along with it. He's like, hey, maybe we could use this, you know, to help us. And, and she's, uh, Rogue is more iffy about that. Um, so either way, you know, that's that's kind of set up for the issue or, or basically the entire issue. Um, what I like about this story is, is like I said earlier, it's very, uh, it's very transparent. Um, there's not a lot of hidden stuff going on here. There's not a whole lot of, like, set up for these other little side events or anything it's pretty face value it's pretty much okay that's what's going to happen they're going to be here something weird is going to happen to them they're going to have to use their relationship or lack thereof or whatever to get out of trouble um there's not a lot of characters introduced in it so far you know it's basically storm kitty pride rogue gambit uh armor pixie psylocke a uh, couple of other people you meet on the island, and, and that's really it. Yeah, I think that's all I saw on the issue. Um, 
So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool whenever you can narrow it in on the X-Men like that versus uh, throw like a whole bunch of team members in at once. I think that works a little better. Um, so the way this, I know everybody keeps saying that they want X-Men to have like an old feel, like the old vibe or whatever. I'm fine with moving forward to like a new vibe, uh, to have new stories and, and different takes and stuff like that. I think that's okay. I don't have any problem with that. Um, I think what they did here was, uh, they did a pretty good job of it. Um, just the weight in which they used, you know, it's, it's not heavy like some of the other you know, X-Men Gold and Blue and stuff that have been coming out, um, you know, and some of those, uh, Iceman and stuff like that, uh, Astonishing, all that. This is just a little lighter. It's a little lighter story, um, it's done well, the writing's pretty good, the art is good, uh, I, I like the art, um, the front and center art is great. The background art kind of does that thing that a lot of, uh, Marvel and DC are doing right now where it's like, it doesn't feel completely finished. It looks like uh, like certain backgrounds and certain background characters are not completely finished. Um, and that is a little bit distracting for me. Um, maybe it's not for everybody. But uh, that does kind of get in the way of the story for me a little bit. Um, I wouldn't take off a bunch of points for that, but that does take off a few points for art, I guess. Um, Either way, I think it was a, a really solid first issue. Uh, I'm definitely intrigued to read the next one. It's not something where uh, where I'm immediately like locked in. I'm like, oh my god, I, I have to read this next issue. I can't wait till next month when it comes out. I can wait. I'm okay. <laughs> um, but when it does come out, I will pick it up. Uh, I'll definitely read it. Um, and I'm excited to read it and see where it goes. Uh, I almost want to compare it to, not compare it, uh, but I almost want to like hold it, um, I don't know how to <laughs> explain what I'm saying. I almost want to, you know, uh, say that, you know, last week we had uh, Phoenix Resurrection 1, this week we have issue number 2, um, so number one last week was a little it was easy to read um i mean the weight of the story was was pretty heavy it wasn't light like this um and there was definitely a lot of setup for for like a, a big story there um and i understand why uh issue two though you know was a little hard to read um so i almost want to put it up against that you know and say it's nice that there is an X story book uh, that that's very light, and I know I keep referencing or, or going back to that, but X Men deal with a lot. There's a lot of X Men characters. There's a lot of history, so to have something very light against all these stories that are very heavy is good, in my opinion. I think that works. Um, it looks like there's some, you know, light stuff uh, coming in the future, you know, down the pipeline. Uh, you know, and there's a lot of uh, things that people aren't, you know, very happy with, like Wolvie and stuff like that. And we'll have to see what comes of that. But it does sound lighter than, you know, something like Phoenix, Phoenix Resurrection, which I'm not hating on. I, I do like Phoenix, Phoenix Resurrection, but it's a Phoenix story, so it's a heavy story already. Um... But either way, you know, just to go back to this book, uh, it is good. Um, you know, I would, I, I think I would go like uh, seven point five, almost to the eight point oh, you know, territory. Like it's really close, but it's just that background art that maybe takes away a little bit. But it is overall uh, very satisfying. Um, it's, it's good. Uh, you know, good writing, good storytelling, uh, and the, you know, world in, in which it's in is good. So <laughs> I would definitely recommend you read this. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if you guys did pick this up this week, if you've read it, uh, what you thought about it. Um, I'm sure everybody won't necessarily agree. Uh, you know, uh, I know Marvel's taking a hit right now, um, and I won't weigh in too much of an opinion on that other than uh not for me i 
make my marble. But um, but yeah, let me let me know what you guys thought if you did pick it up uh, or if you're going to or whatever. So thanks a lot for watching. Until next time.